Welcome to Bearded Radness. I'm Darkside Bean. Today, I just wanted to share a little insight on this Clark Technic CM1 mic booster. Does the size and shape of this thing remind you of anything? Well, it should because this looks exactly like its competitor, the Cloudlifter, but at a fraction of the cost. If you are unfamiliar what a mic booster does, this will give you plus 25 dB of clean gain for your dynamic microphone. And that is huge because a lot of your in-home recording audio interfaces or your mixers, you have to crank up that preamp gain to get a good recording level with a dynamic microphone. So this will help take care of that because you can roll that gain back and reduce some of that static noise or background noise or hiss and hum you get with those preamps at such a high level. Right now I'm using the booster paired with my pod road mic and that plugs into my Scarlett 4i4 audio interface. I have the gain set at exactly 12 o'clock and I'm coming in around minus 18 to minus 12 dB of audio. So now I'm going to bypass this booster and show you what this will sound like with no booster and the gain set at 12 o'clock. And now I'm using my microphone without the mic booster. I'm sure you hear a significant difference. I still have the gain on the audio interface set at 12 o'clock. And right now I'm registering at about minus 35 dB, so a huge difference. I'm sure you hear it obviously in the audio of this video. So now I'm going to slowly turn up the preamp on the focus right so we can match the level where I was at with the booster and let's see what that sounds like and if it introduces any more uh, static noise or more hum hiss or background noise with the preamp going up. All right, so now we are at about minus 18 and now we are Oh geez, that sounds like pretty boomy to me in my headset. Okay, I have the preamp on my focus right cranked all the way up and I'm hitting about minus 12 to minus 6 dB. But to me through this headset, it sounds like I'm like in a giant room and there's all kinds of reverb. So that preamp cranked way up. I mean, we're picking up little tiny things like this. Uh, so to me, that sounds like crap. So I'm going to roll this back and we're going to put the mic booster back in line now. And there we go. It sounds so much better to have the booster back in line. So the cost of this, this cost $29. And its competitor, the cloud lifter, you know, the one that looks just like this, but is blue, is $150. Now you might be saying, well, how the heck can one be $150 and this one only be $29? Um, you know, I don't know. We just did a quick test and I've actually watched other videos on this product and it does the exact same thing for a lot less of the cost. Um, I've been using it for a few days to test it out. I have had no problems with this. And they also make a two channel one. So, you know, two in, two out. And I think that one is $49. But I do have to say, I purchased this from Sweetwater and these are on back order yet again because they are so popular because of their cost and the quality. I had to wait about six weeks to get mine and I checked before I made this video and they are yet again on back order but it is worth the wait. I would much rather spend $29 than $150 to rush something here that I needed but didn't need in an emergency basis. Um, also another thing if you want to get an SM7B, like the most popular microphone out there for podcast vocals and whatnot, this is pretty much a must to have a booster because that mic requires a lot of gain. Uh, I do not own one yet, but I do have one on the way fairly soon for some vocal stuff. So I'm really excited about that. And that's the main reason why I bought these. So I'm glad I did. So again, 29 bucks. Can't go wrong. I bought mine at Sweetwater. Um course this video is not sponsored by Sweetwater or Clark Technic I just wanted to share this info that if you're getting into podcasting uh, just anything with a microphone vocals music a mic booster for your dynamic mic is pretty much a must these days to keep those preamp levels down and not adding extra noise into your recording or music or whatnot before I forget I wanted to show you a picture of my interface to show you where the gain was set for this test so on the left, you can see the gain is set at 12 o'clock, and that is exactly halfway on that gain knob. And on the right, you can see that is cranked all the way to max to get the same amount of dB in recording for this microphone. 
Um, again, that introduces more noise, makes the sound more boomy and echoey. So definitely a huge difference there. And that's gonna wrap this video up for me. If you're in need of a mic booster, do not be afraid of the low price of this. It works great, save your money, or don't. Go ahead and spend $150 on the exact same thing. If you are a gear snob and require the little blue pill, I mean blue box, to boost your microphone. Lems is just jokes. Stay healthy, stay rad.